Good morning, everybody. We're here at the Gila Cliff Dwellings in Gila National Forest. We've got ourselves handy dandy little map and information stuff, and we're headed up to the dwellings right now. These cliff dwellings are from the Magayan people, and they're from about 700 years ago. Nobody really knows why they left. There's a whole bunch of different theories. Maybe conflict, maybe they were nomadic. Uh, who really knows? The Magayan people only lived here for 30 to 40 years, which is crazy to think about all of these structures, and they, they built all of this stuff just to live here for like one generation. Supposedly there were about 60 people who were living here at the same at the time. I ain't seen one this big yet. Whoa, he is like crazy scaly. Our time at the cliff dwellings has come to an end. We were only there for about an hour maybe. It's only a mile hike, uh, just in a loop around, and there's only the six caves to look at. So it goes by pretty quick. We're now on a hike to Little Canyon, taking the EE trail, whatever that is. Supposed to be maybe four miles to the water, maybe a mile along the water, and we'll head back. We've made it down to Little Creek. As you can tell, it is a very little creek. But there is water flowing, and it does feel good on the feet. It's the little things in life when you're in the desert, so it makes it all worth doing it. This nice, cool creek. This juniper tree has some sort of moss growing on it. I don't think it's Spanish moss because it seems way too far west and way too hot here. Once we started following the creek, we finally found a nice stand of ponderosa pines. Ugh, it feels so good to have some shade and to see some trees that aren't completely burnt down. This forest, so much of it has been destroyed by fires, especially on this hike. The whole first three miles were nothing but destroyed trees and just wide open land and the sun was just unbearable but now we've got trees all around us a little bit of shade it feels real good we're back to the creek and we're on an adventure to try to find the deepest spot so that we can lay down in the water because we're just so freaking hot there's so many tadpoles but I don't know butt first. Uh, don't go down so slow. It's so cold. Wee. Hi little fishies. They just keep nibbling on me. Nope. No little friends in my pants. <laughs> it's a good thing, right? Yeah. I don't know, that would have been kind of cool. <laughs> You're into some weird stuff. Now that we've had a nice refreshing dip in the creek, it's time to uh, head back down the trail, back to civilization. But I got one special treat for myself. Put my shirt in the river and made myself a little cooling pad here. Oh, it already feels lovely. This is the devastation of a wildfire. There's just nothing left. It's so sad to see this after coming through all of the beautiful ponderosa pines. Now there's just nothing. Future Josh is back, coming at you. 
We finished the trail. It was super hot by the time we got back, but no big deal. All we did was end up going to the campground, laying in the creek by the campground, and then uh, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and found a nice place to take some showers. Three bucks for unlimited shower time. Ugh, it sucks your luxury. Those young kids back then didn't know how good they had it. Uh, if you like what you see here, please give me a like and a subscribe. And until next time, find your adventure and go outside. There's a big fish right next to my butt.